We continue BNC special coverage, Justice for Dante Wright, on this show and other shows across our platform. Jury deliberations continue now for a second day in the trial of this woman, former officer Kim Potter. In closing arguments on Monday, the prosecution telling jurors that Potter's actions were, in their words, a colossal screw-up. The defense actually blamed Dante Wright for his own death. And joining this, this uh, joining us this morning, BNC's chief legal analyst, Laura McNeil. Laura, I was watching the closing arguments. Was it just me, or did it seem like both sides seemed to be making arguments that may have offended jurors? I do. I think so. And, and it was a little disappointing because I, I, I really have high regards for Prosecutor Eldridge. But uh, some of the stuff she said was a little extreme. For example, uh, when she said that Kim Potter betrayed her badge, um, I don't think it was a betrayal because it was a reckless uh, mistake. And so I thought that was a bit much in terms of some of the language she chose to use. Uh, the defense, again, no surprises with that one. Very offensive, uh, essentially downplaying the fact that Dante Wright lost his life and saying, hey, he could have been treated even worse and referencing the deadly knee to neck procedure that Derek Chauvin used to kill George Floyd. So the fact that he thought it was appropriate, the defense attorney, to make that reference, I thought was offensive, thought it was inappropriate and very disappointing indeed, especially I can imagine what the family of Dante Wright was feeling. So uh, you saw both sides kind of unraveling, to be quite frank. I want to let our audience in on something, which is that even when our shows are over, you and I continue to talk. And yesterday we talked about the issue of African-American jurors. And I thought um, that African-Americans on the jury would be more sympathetic to the officer because of our religious experience. Uh, you know, you've heard preachers say time and time again, an eye for an eye leaves everybody blind. In this case, they might be more forgiving. You disagree. Why? I disagreed, and usually we don't disagree, Dell. But this time I do, simply because um, <laughs> if there were, say, an all-black jury, there's been so much in terms of police brutality disproportionately impacting communities of color. I think there's not as much empathy, to be quite frank, for police officers. Even a Kim Potter, who clearly showed a very remorseful and emotional reaction following the accidental shooting of Dante Wright. But I just think that there's been so much damage, and you got to keep in mind this didn't just start with. George Floyd. This goes way back in terms of excessive police brutality in our communities to Rodney King. And that's simply because we happen to have video uh, to record those incidents back then. So I don't think they would have had remorse, to be quite frank. I think they see this as yet another incident affecting their communities that they're not seeing in our counterparts' communities, meaning predominantly white communities. Which will be the predominant factor as the jury considers this case, the tears of Officer Potter or the death of a 20-year-old black man with a young son? You know, I think it's going to be a combination of both. Uh, if she did not have that very emotional reaction on the body cam footage, which anyone uh, can't deny the fact that it's very hard to fake that kind of empathy and remorse and regret. And that does will impact the juries. Now, I don't think it'll impact them to the point of not holding her accountable. If she is found guilty on any of the charges, it'll be that second degree manslaughter. I don't think the first degree manslaughter charge will stick in this particular case because of her emotional reaction, because of the fact that she doesn't have prior misconduct in her policing record. And those are things that the that's the human side of jurors that they will consider. Laura McNeil, our chief legal analyst here at BNC, we thank you as we continue to watch and wait for the jury verdict in this case. And when that happens, we will bring it to you live.